Welcome home, my fellow mobile gamers of YouTube. Today, we're gonna dive into the four most interesting mobile games that I played last week. I'll spend just about a minute per game to give you guys a quick overview, but if you wanna dive a bit deeper into any of these games, there's a bunch of links for you guys down in the description box. In today's episode, we will be taking a closer look at an awesome new tower defense game that really takes a new unique twist on the tower defense genre, a good old toss game, not unlike Burrito Bison, for example. Those of you who've played that game will know exactly what I'm talking about and exactly why I'm excited for a new game like that. An awesome open world twin stick RPG we're also gonna cover and this one has a perfect monetization system which always excites me. And then lastly a horrible Game of Thrones game. Who would have thought right? But we are kicking things off with an actual great game though called Rocky Rampage. And this game is a fun and polished new side-scrolling toss game and I'm not really sure if that's a genre. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it a toss game. Not really sure what this genre of game is actually called, but it's very much in the vein of Burrito Bison, Learn to Fly, and many other similar old Flash browser games. The goal in this game is to get as far into the world as possible by first perfectly timing our launch for maximum forward momentum, and then strategically jumping as often as we can so that we can hit boosters and avoid enemy traps that will slow us down when we hit them. The graphics look nice and appealing without being over the top. Progression is nicely paced which is extremely important for this type of game and monetizing through incentivized video advertisements and a few unnecessary in-app purchases for for example buying coin dopplers or cosmetic items and, and some consumables this game is easily enjoyable as a free player the game is offline playable and it only takes up 267 megabytes of space it's out on android and on ios already and it's an awesome throwback for anyone who's played games like burrito bison in the past and even if you haven't played any of those games but you're just looking for a great casual mobile game this one is definitely worth taking for a spin. Next up this week, we've got Throne Quest, which is an indie RPG game with a huge open world, over 150 items and 90 monsters, retro 8-bit graphics, and twin-stick shooter-inspired action combat. Something really unique about this game is that it not only has us explore the dungeons and the open world, but also the game mechanics and the items themselves, as there's literally no text in this game whatsoever. Well, I guess not actually literally, but there's nearly no text or descriptions in this game for some. This might be appealing, I guess, but I honestly found it a bit confusing for the first hour or maybe even for the first two hours of gameplay. The core gameplay loop doesn't disappoint though, I mean, we leave town to fight monsters and explore dungeons, we collect loot, we equip gear, and we sell the loot we don't need, and then we rinse and repeat, basically. The gameplay is fun, but I personally would have liked to see some more skills and some sort of stat progression system. This doesn't mean the game is bad, it just means that it's a bit simplistic. It offers a unique experience though that is worth checking out if you a fan of retro looking RPGs with simple monetization systems because on Android there's a free trial version of this game with the full version being unlocked for free US dollars which is also the price of the game on iOS. Unfortunately there's no controller support in Throne Quest which is kind of strange because the game is out on the Nintendo Switch as well and obviously that means that the developer has had to build some sort of controller support into the game but on mobile we don't have that it's a bit of a bummer if you have a Bluetooth controller but the game can be played offline though it only takes up 71 megabyte of space so it's a really tiny game in terms of its size. It's available on Android and on iOS and I guess it's worth considering checking out if you're into twin stick action RPGs because you know what? There really aren't that many of those on mobile, so they can be a bit difficult to find. Now then, I am pretty sure that if I gave you guys a survey and asked you what the most hated mobile game was right now, many of you would say Raid, Shadow Legends, right? But I have found a game that is arguably probably even worse. It's a Game of Thrones game and it's called Game of Thrones Beyond the Wall. It's a strategy team-based hero RPG game with turn-based combat and many different game modes. Doesn't sound that bad, right? In fact, I was pretty intrigued about this game. Game. But that was only until I actually got around to playing it and I'm really mostly including this game here as a warning for you all I do not think this game is actually worth checking out, but it's laughably bad So hey, here we go Unfortunately, the monetization is horrible in this game with low pull rates in the gacha mechanic and energy system limiting our time with the game And there's nothing exciting about the combat itself either. The graphics aren't spectacular There are no voiceovers for quests and, and cutscenes despite being a Game of Thrones game. The animations are mediocre at best 
first and the game feels like a bit of a rushed cash grab honestly yes i really didn't like this game the game requires online access as well it takes up 1.34 gigabyte of space so it's actually a, a decently sized game as well it's out on android and on ios though and i guess that's a positive thing but honestly just stay away from this one it isn't worth your time in my opinion do let me know if you disagree though and sorry that i trashed a game that potentially you guys like if you get enjoyment out of playing this game all the more power to you guys but i'm just saying from a purely game design perspective i don't think this is a good game design i don't like the monetization and i frankly think there are better games out there but if you've been enjoying the game of course you should keep playing it but i'll go back to what i consider the good stuff now with a new game called divine legends and this game is surprisingly very unknown. It only has a few thousand downloads as of right now at least, but it offers a very unique new twist on the tower defense genre through multiple game modes that has us take control of a main hero in addition to the usual arsenal of towers that we select before a level starts in this game. During combat, we then place towers on the map as usual, but the main hero is then also used to carve the path on which creatures are going to walk in this game. And this goes for every game mode in this game as well, and it really adds a nice nice additional strategic layer to the game, in my opinion at least. I'm really liking this semi-level editor mode. Now, the game has a ton of single-player content, and progression in the game happens through unlocking new towers and upgrading existing ones by getting enough tower cards from chests, which we can earn for free, or of course we can buy more of them through premium currency. This does add a pay to progress faster element to the game, but it doesn't ruin the gameplay experience since the game isn't very PvP oriented, so you're really only paying to be able to finish the game a bit sooner, I guess, but you can also just grind your way to pretty much everything in this game, and that's what I plan on doing. Now, there's a lot more to be said about this game, so if you like what you've been seeing so far, I really recommend you guys to either just go check out the game, or go watch my full video on this game where I dive into all the beautiful details and what I like and what I dislike about the game. So if you're looking for a game with a new take on the tower defense genre, this is definitely one to check out. The game requires on an access. It takes up 237 megabytes of space, which actually isn't a whole lot considering the amount of content in this game and the graphics. It's out on Android and on iOS. It should be out globally as far as I've been able to tell, but if you live in a country where it isn't available, please do let me know in the comment section down below. It's also my favorite game of the week. So if you're as much of a tower defense fan as I am, this is an easy recommendation from me. If you like what you've seen so far in this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already for some more mobile gaming goodness, because this is essentially what I do around here. I find new mobile games, I play them, I discard the bad ones, I make videos on the best ones, and sometimes I'll take one of the bad ones and make a rant about, and then I share them with you guys right here on YouTube. So thank you very much for spending a few minutes with me here today. I hope you had a great time, and then until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.